Hey everyone, and welcome to video two of our Ansible course. In this video, we are going to go over some more ad hoc commands and using different modules. So in the last video, we just used the command module to run basic commands on the remote systems. And now we're going to be using the app module to install services. And then we're going to use the service module to check the state of those services and restart services if we require. So let's go ahead and hop into the command line. Alright, so I'm in the terminal here and I'm going to run an Ansible command here and I'm going to set the targets to all and the inventory file is going to be hosts which we created in the last video and I'm going to add additional tag here and that option is become and basically what this does is it makes you become the root user so it's the same as running a command at, with sudo so we want to do that since we're installing packages and now we're gonna set the module to the apt module and the command that we're gonna run in the apt module is we're gonna update the cache to yes and we'll set that to run and also I'm gonna pull up some documentation here in regards to the app module and if we look at updates cache you can see it's the equivalent of app get update so Ansible has very good documentation for all its modules so if you ever need to look at anything for the app module or the service module or any of the modules go to docs.ansible.com and just search for it alright so it looks like uh, it completed and all my app caches are up to date on all my servers so I'm gonna run my next command which will be Ansible and I'm going to run this one to the web servers, use the same inventory file, make sure I become the root, the app module, and this time I'm going to give the parameters Apache 2 and make sure the state is present. So this is going to make sure that Apache 2 is installed on the web servers. So just an explanation on this last parameter of state. I'll pull up the documentation again and you can see that there's a few choices here. So you can choose present, absent, latest, fixed. Um, present is usually the one you will use just to make sure that it's installed but you could also use latest to make sure that it's installed and it's the latest up-to-date version you could use absent just to make sure that the application is not installed so it, it gives you a lot of flexibility on the actual state of the application alright and returning back here to my command line I can see that it installed successfully and I'm getting a lot of output here because I'm using the ad hoc command. If I was running this through a playbook, the output would be a lot less. But I can see that it ran successfully. Apache 2 is installed. Perfect. The next thing I want to do is uh, let's install MySQL Server on the database. So we'll do Ansible with the host uh, group database and inventory file of hosts become root app module and basically run the same command but instead of apache we want to set the name to mysql dash server and the state to present and we'll let that run it'll take a few minutes i'm going to do uh, a cut here and i'll be back with you guys in a minute okay so we have MySQL installed on our database so the next thing I want to go over is the service module and we will just try restarting some services here so we'll just do Ansible database inventory file of hosts and instead of running the app module we're 
we will run the service module and the command is basically the same as before but we're changing the state to make sure that it is started so this will basically go to the database group and make sure that the MySQL service is started and it came back green so we can see that it is started uh, it didn't ha actually have to do anything that's why it's green if it was to start the service this would come back yellow for a change so let's go ahead and ch run, rerun this command but instead of saying started we're gonna say restarted and this will actually restart the service and uh, we can see it failed and that was just a little test to see if uh, you guys caught that it's failing because we're not adding in become because to restart a service you need to be root alright so we can see that that came back and it's yellow so it made a change and you can, we can see that it started now so it restarted the service there alright so now that we know how to uh, restart individual services let's uh, just restart our entire web stack so to do that we would just go Ansible and we'll choose the web stack from our inventory file hosts let's run the command module again and we will say reboot with the reboot flag and this will go out and reboot all our servers now we're gonna get a bunch of failed because we did not add in the become flag so let's add that in and now we're getting a different failure message and that's because the device is already rebooting so when it's going creating the SSH connection to check the state and make sure that uh, everything rebooted uh, the SSH connection doesn't go through because the system's restarting so that makes sense these will be up in a few minutes and if we wanted to we could just try pinging them and they'll be back online but I'm gonna end the video here that's all I really wanted to show in regards to ad hoc commands the next video that we do is going to be playbooks, which is going to be the bulk of what you work with in Ansible. So please check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.